Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. Evolutionists claim the Earth is four and a half to five billion, that life evolved from rocks by random chance, and then that life forms have evolved one from another, that some have become extinct along the way and no longer exist, and that this is supposed proof for evolution. However, in recent times we have found what they call living fossils. The name itself was coined by Charles Darwin. You see, here's an example. The very famous coelacanth fish, the multiple lobed fin fish that supposedly walked out of the water and became people, was found uh, alive. It was supposedly extinct 70 million years ago, but it has now been found alive in the Indian Ocean, both off the coast of Africa and off the coast of Indonesia in two different populations, uh, the first discovery in the late 1930s. And we have the Neopolina, a mollusk, supposedly extinct for 280 million years, but now found alive today. We also have the Lingula, a brachiopod, supposedly extinct for 400 million years, and yet has been found alive recently. And the Terra branch, supposedly extinct for 300 million years, and the index fossil most used by evolutionists to determine that a layer is called Lower Paleozoic. Well, all of these have been found alive recently. This shows that creatures do not evolve into existence and then become extinct as they evolve into something else. But what really happens is, well, one kind stays the same kind. Now the Bible tells us that God created different kinds of creatures. Now if evolution were true, we would see an evolving, branching form of life. But if God is telling us the truth, it was all created at one time, that we would have all life coming into existence at the same time. We would either have two choices. We would have uh, either the same or less and less as those became extinct. Of course, today we see extinction, which is actually a proof for creation. And these living fossils prove to us that one kind does not change into another. That you really can trust the Bible about the account of creation only 6,000 years ago, and that God created different kinds of creatures and they remain the same kind over time.